advocates say they were investigating a domestic violence incident earlier this evening when a large explosion happened at a home. Police and a SWAT team were outside when it happened, responding to a report of a barricaded person. Our affiliate WFSB reports that at least three officers were seen being placed in ambulances. People in the area reported on the police department's Facebook page that they heard the explosion and felt their homes shake. We're continuing to bring you live updates from this explosion here in North Haven. We're on the 300 block of Quinnipiac Ave. And Kevin, let's just start with showing you all of the activity that's going on right now here with the uh, first responders and the emergency personnel. Right now, they're just the lingering around. We have state police, we have SWAT, and we have local police. Right now, they're all huddling together um, as they begin to decide how they're going to approach this scene. Uh, right now, from what I can tell, we still have an active fire. What time is it right now? 9.16, about an hour later. We have uh, still what seems to be an active fire here on the 300 block of Quinnipiac Ave. Um, this initially started at around the 5 o'clock hour, according to neighbors here in the neighborhood. They were saying that uh, this started as a call for a barricaded what? man. And at around 8.15, that turned into an explosion. We got on scene at around 7.45-ish. A lot of neighbors were lingering around, just kind of watching things unfold. Uh, nothing really happening. As you can see, this, uh, this SWAT vehicle that's kind of making its way uh, through the crowd right now, going closer to this house. Um, but at around 8.20, that is when we heard this uh, body-shaking explosion. Uh, come from that 300 block or that house and then moments after I would say maybe 30 seconds later we saw this huge fireball um, just come from the sky um, and that was raging for a good 45 minutes um, right now we don't see a lot of the flames that we did uh, initially but that smoke uh, that was coming from that house it was very thick very black and uh, it was raging for a good part of the night for at least uh, the last hour or so. And as you can see, the uh, response right now with all of the different units that are on scene, you don't see a lot of them going toward the house. And that could be out of concern for what could lie ahead, you know, what's going to await them when they get into that home. Um, we did confirm with some of the first responders that there were at least four people injured. And from what we could tell as ambulances started uh, to come um, onto the 14 on scene, um, from people that were, the ambulance that were coming on scene, um, we saw at least three what appeared to be law enforcement personnel uh, being taken away in an ambulance. And I'm just going to kind of uh, go through some of our updates right now because that is where we stand. As for the fire, we don't know if that thing has been tended to right now, at least from the Quinnipiac Ave side of things. We have not seen any um, response in terms of trying to put these flames out. They may be attacking it from the backside. We were not able to uh, exactly see if that's happening there. But in terms of the hospitals, uh, we're being told that uh, the Yale emergency room right now is on full diversion uh, as they respond to the injuries that are coming from this scene. So you're seeing more um, officers coming to and from right now, but still nobody is really getting too close to this house in question right now. Q30 News on the scene in on Quinnipiac Ave in North Haven tonight, a couple blocks up the road from a home in which authorities say an explosion occurred in the backyard. That explosion injuring six police and SWAT members. They are being treated at Yale New Haven Hospital. We are in North Haven, though, and North, North Haven's first selectman, Michael Frieda, spoke to the media just moments ago. Well, from the reports I heard when I was on scene, we heard that the wife actually escaped out of the house while she was being barricaded. And then our police department and our uh, surrounding SWAT team support were trying to coax the gentleman out of the house and trying to calm him down and defuse him. And that's really what was going on over there. And how long was this going on for? We've heard reports for days. Well, today it had been going on for hours and then apparently it had been going on for three days prior. This is why we train them for these type of things in the, in the event that they do happen. And today was an example. Frida says at this time it is unclear whether the man has been apprehended. My name is Paul Genieszewski, the fire chief with North Haven. We were asked to provide assistance uh, earlier this afternoon with North Haven Police Department while they conducted their uh, 
their investigation as the scene evolved further we requested additional apparatus to the scene to uh, help contain what was taking place i've had uh, mutual aid support from a lot of surrounding towns which we've worked with uh, tremendously and we appreciate their support the scene continues throughout the course of the evening for the fire department and there will be a cooperative investigation uh, with our local and federal partners uh, from this point forward regarding uh, the investigation from our part. Uh, the community um, has been fantastic in understanding what's going on and being patient with us in terms of getting a message out. I understand this is the first time we've been able to communicate anything to you. For the community members that were directly affected in this neighborhood, this particular firehouse, the Mono Luis Firehouse on Quinnipiac Avenue, short ways down the street, has been set up as a means of a, of a, of a refuge for all residents that were impacted. The power is off to the area, and, and residents who need anything are, are asked to come to Monoe's Firehouse where they can seek refuge. Yeah, right. Earlier today, our uh, investigative personnel began to investigate a domestic violence incident at a residence here at the 300 block of Quinnipiac Avenue. During the course of this investigation, they had reason to believe that a tactical intervention or, or a SWAT team was needed to uh, take the subject into custody. The subject was barricaded within uh, the residence and the property. During the course of normal containment, a loud explosion occurred. We have upwards of eight tactical officers that have been injured. At this point in time, none of the injuries are life-threatening. As you can imagine, most of the injuries they are experiencing are from the blast in and of itself and the injuries you would normally see with that. In time, where we are in the investigation is this is still an active and ongoing scene. At this point, due to the injuries we sustained with the SWAT operators from the South Central Tactical Team, which is our regional team, which is comprised of six different towns, we have turned the scene over to the State Police Tactical Unit at this point. We are being assisted with all our local partners who have provided us a great deal of assistance in the initial response of this crisis. And this is going to be a continued prolonged incident. This is not a stable scene at this point. We won't have any further comments or information pertaining to the investigation because it's still an ongoing investigation.